Okay, here's how to program a Ferris wheel in Scratch. First thing you want to do is open up the program called Scratch. Looks just like that. And then we'll see our base program. Let's start by getting, getting rid of the cat. You can right click the cat and say delete. Now the cat's gone. Next, click on the little paintbrush with a star icon that says paint new sprite. And then you'll get this editor here where you can start painting something. So start by drawing a big circle. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, don't worry. Uh, next, let's add some cars. These are the carriages that the passengers will ride on the Ferris wheel. It might help if you use complete circles here, so don't leave something open like that. Um, complete the circles so that way it can be easier to color later on. All right, that's good enough. If you'd like to add some color, you can uh, choose the paint bucket tool, use the eyedropper to select a color, and then go and color the carriages different colors. Be careful, if you click any of the black lines, it will color the entire thing. There's an undo button here if you'd like to undo any, anything that you've done. So I'm not gonna take the time to color everything here, but I am gonna do a purple one and then a blue one. All right, next, uh, go back to the paintbrush tool and select black and give your Ferris wheel some spokes. So start with a center point and then you can do some lines just like this. Just make sure that the lines pass through the center point as close as you can get it anyway. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so there's my Ferris wheel. Um, for, for this, don't do any base. We're going to do the base for the Ferris wheel next. So just the, the wheel, the spokes, and the cars are all we need. Next, you can click OK. Okay, so there's our Ferris, Ferris wheel. We can pick it up and drag it by clicking and holding. The next thing we need to do is click on that new sprite option again. We're going to give ourselves a base. So we're back to the editor and you can kind of draw a line at the bottom and a triangle. You can kind of see that this is going to line up with the, the center of the Ferris wheel that we just drew. Uh, you can give this thing color if you'd like. Doesn't matter. Let's go with a, like a gold color. Okay. All right. Okay, the, I've got the Ferris wheel here and the base in the background. If you see that the base is in the front, just grab the Ferris wheel in the back and drag it and it will turn it to the front. Line up the center of the Ferris wheel with the top of the base. And uh, now our Ferris wheel is fully made and we're ready to program it to get it to start spinning. So what you wanna do is click on the Ferris wheel sprite down at the bottom to select it. And then up at the top here, click on the tab for scripts. It might already be selected. And then we need to check some different kinds of code blocks. So let's go to control. Drag out this when green flag is clicked. That's kind of like the run button in the Lego We Do software, if you've been using that. Okay, next, we're going to have it repeat forever. So grab the forever loop and connect it to the when clicked. Next, let's go to motion. So when we click that green flag, the motion that will happen forever, we're going to tell it what to do. So let's go with turn 15 degrees and put it inside of the forever loop. And you might want to play around with some different kinds of degrees in here for different kinds of motion and how much it's actually going to rotate, how fast or how slow. I'm going to start pretty low, so I'm going to change that 15 to a 5. And so let's try this thing out. So we've got the, when the green flag is clicked forever, it's going to turn for 5 degrees. So it'll keep turning 5 degrees over and over again, which will be a, a full rotation. So let's hit play. Okay, so it works pretty well. Looks like it might need to be lined up a little better, but I have a Ferris wheel that is fully functional and it is spinning. It's not crashing or falling off the, the mount at all. But uh, if I hit stop here up at the top corner, I could rearrange this to try to get it to just maybe rotate a little more nicely on that mount. Let's see how that looks. That's a little better. Don't expect perfection. But just to show you one more thing here, let's change that five to a 25 and to see how that affects our Ferris wheel. Okay, so it's going a lot faster. Uh, I'm gonna let you kind of uh, play around with any other kinds of values and different things. Um, but just as some ideas for you, maybe you wanna assign some code to the background 
or maybe you want to have some passengers for your Ferris wheel. So you can go to the new sprite and add some new sprites, uh, people. Maybe you can have some people walking around at the bottom, or maybe someone that gets on the Ferris wheel and goes for a ride. Um, there's really no limit to what you can do with this. So go in and have some fun with this.